Hey everyone, welcome back to my shop. My name is Chris. This week's video, well, it's gonna be a little different. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you three different ways in which to use epoxy resin. Now, one is to fix a problem. The other is going to be a decorative element. And then the third one is actually gonna be something functional. So, right now we're gonna jump right into this. I'm gonna show you how I used resin to fix a mistake. Let's just get into it and let me show you what happened. Hey everybody, well, yeah, made a mistake, check that out. Made a little boo-boo here, flattening a slab with my router sled, and uh, I gotta fix it, so let's do that. First step in the process is to use some house wrap tape on either side of this mistake, and this is gonna basically form a well in which the epoxy can rest, giving it ample time to dry. Using some black diamond pigments, I'm gonna make this orange, that way I'm always reminded to use caution when using this tool again. Hopefully I don't make the same mistake twice. And there it is, the epoxy is poured and now we let it cure for a few hours. Once that's done, take the tape off, go ahead and sand it down flush and honestly, it's like it never happened. Now, a moment of silence to see how it works. Guys, just like that, she is good as new. It's extremely smooth, it's very level and I decided to make it orange because yeah, I need to use caution next time, so. Look at that, quick fix. Thank you, Total Boat. Sometimes you make mistakes and you know what? Epoxy can help you fix them, as you saw in that example right there. Moving forward, we're gonna go to the next project. This one's gonna be a decorative element. I simply took a very inexpensive wall clock and well, Here's what we did. Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I think it's no secret that you guys know that I love black diamond pigments and total boat epoxy, kind of a match made in heaven. I'm gonna show you how to take an afternoon and you can make a simple wall clock, a $2 one from Ikea in fact, into something absolutely beautiful using these things. Check it out. Mixed up a quick small batch of the Total Boats 2-in-1 high performance epoxy, added the pigment to it and poured it into the clock that has the clock parts removed and the hole has been taped up, that way it doesn't leak out. Take your time with this, go slow, and don't do too thick of a layer because then the clock parts won't actually move. Simply drill the hole back out, install those clock parts back, put the battery in, looks like it's working great. So a simple $2 clock can be transformed into this. Well, there it is. Fun little project you can do in a matter of hours. All right, guys, so we're going with today's theme. We got three smaller projects. I'm gonna introduce you on the Maker Board today to two smaller YouTube channels. Now, between both these guys combined, they have under a thousand subscribers but that doesn't mean they're any less quality. And quite frankly, before I go telling you about them, I wanna tell you something as well. You know, everyone in this space who you get information from and inspiration from, these guys and gals that have over a million, sometimes you know, two million subscribers, they were once in this position. And I think it's just my civic duty in this space that I've had some mild success here and it's not because of just me. I haven't done it alone. I've gotten a few shout outs along the way and that's the whole point of this maker board. So if you would, please go check out Big Lou and Jay Mouter. Their channels are linked down below. They're really great creators and definitely I think they're worth a shot. So give them some love and let's get back. All right, so the next area of epoxy is gonna be a decorative element. Now you guys are probably familiar with live edge pieces of wood, such as this, even this. Well, I have a piece of cedar that I have put some Tyvek tape underneath. We poured some blue dyed epoxy over top and now here's the result of us making a serving tray that's pretty elegant and pretty beautiful. So check this one out. And this, this was an old piece of cedar I had. Definitely had some imperfections in it. Looks like it filled it just great. So you know what? We're gonna go ahead and pop this through the planter and see how this looks and we'll go from there. Sorry to have no footage of this actual pour, but I forgot to actually hit the record button. I thought I did when I came back to the camera. Yeah, nothing. So this is the underside. I'm gonna go ahead and fill a void that didn't quite get filled underneath the tape with some CA glue and activator. I'm gonna go ahead and sand that down now. And then once I do that, we're gonna put it through the planer. So we're gonna take off maybe a 32nd or a 64th of an inch off at a time. Epoxy has a tendency to chip through a planer, which is understandable. It's liquid plastic through a metal blade. So be careful and go slow. After that, taking some CA glue and activator just to fill the littlest, tiniest voids that got missed. Gonna go to the crosscut sled now and trim this piece to length and width.
Now that the serving tray is trued up, we're gonna go take a chamfer bit on the bottom side. This is the bottom of the piece. We're gonna do this in two passes, taking off roughly a quarter of an inch first and then a half of an inch on the second pass. This is not only decorative, but it's gonna serve some function as it's gonna help your fingers get underneath it so you can pick it up off of any surface. Now it's time to take some 320 grit sandpaper and hand sand this to really break all the edges, make it soft to the touch before I put on a few coats of boiled linseed oil. All right, now it's time for one of my favorite parts of a project. Put a little finish on it and let those grains pop and see what we got. And like I said before, this is one of my favorite parts of woodworking. Putting on the finish, letting that grain pop, you really get to see the fruits of your labor. And you know what, say what you want to about epoxy, but you can't deny just how pretty this is. The red and the cedar with some of that kind of yellow goldish tone and then that blue, man, not too much, just right. And again, here is a quick serving suggestion on how you might could use a serving tray like this. Why not? Well guys, what do you think? Here's the functional element of epoxy. Yeah, it's pretty popular in this space right now, and it's, uh, it's a pretty ubiquitous uh, term here, epoxy. You kind of see it everywhere, but I don't think people understand really the principles that you can use epoxy with. Now, fixing, aesthetics, functionality. At least those are the three that I use it the most in my shop, and I'm really glad you guys tuned in today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You know, I'm always gonna invite you to subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and uh, you know what? Check out these guys as well. Another maker board shout out. They're linked down below. Guys, thank you so much for joining me for this quick and easy project. I hope you got some value out of it. And again, my name's Chris, and I'll see you on that next project. And until then, happy making.